prospect of increased chickpea production in WA is looking good. Two years into a five-year, $30 million GRDC investment, Chickpea Breeding Australia is producing solid results aimed at expanding chickpeas from their traditional northern geographic reach into Western Australia. Wow, look at this one, Francis. It's uh, the vigour, the early flowering. Wow, this is wonderful, Christy. I can't believe it. You know, look at the contrast between this and CBA Captain. WA's chickpea production was almost decimated by a fungal outbreak in the early 2000s, spread by WA's dominant winter rains. 60,000 hectares were reduced to 5,000, hitting grower confidence hard. Now, under the current program, varieties are being bred to suit WA's growing conditions better. In WA, under our Chickpea Breeding Australia project, we have uh, this year six breeding sites, which gives us a really good footprint across Western Australia. Uh, so we've got sites down in Scadden, um, in that Esperance region, all the way up through to Northampton. And so we're really keen to evaluate our germplasm. We've got, you know, three to 4,000 different chickpeas across those sites and we'll take that information to uh, feed back uh, into our crossing effort about what's best adapted and make specific crosses for the Western Australian region. Local grower groups are on board, as well as WA's Curtin and Murdoch universities. Some of the trial efforts include studying genetic traits to boost disease resistance to reduce input costs. Obviously we want to address ascochyta blight because it is such a significant um, limitation and, and, cre and creates a lot of risk to growers but uh, particularly traits like um, improved chilling tolerance and uh, tolerance to aluminium, which we can get in uh, low pH soils. But yeah, obviously they've been in wet soil. You are now able, from this large and extended investment, able to select materials that are adapted to West Australian conditions than was previously possible. So in the Western Australian environment, we're looking for early vigour, improved height and harvestability. And I think we've got it here with this line. Uh, we can see great uh, vigour, um, one of the most vigorous uh, plots here at the site. Uh, great height, um, the height to lowest pod, we're going to have great harvestability here. Um, and so we're also working in you know, improved disease resistance for these type of attributes um, to really give growers a, a really reliable package for chickpeas in Western Australia. Increased and long-term yield reliability is a trial target, which is why diverse West Australian environments, featuring different soil types and climatic conditions, have been chosen. The ultimate aim, achieve good market access with a premium product. In 2020, we released CBA Captain. Uh, it's a very erect, tall chickpea, so a much better harvestability option for, for Western Australian growers. It has quite broad adaptation um, in the Western Australian environment. Uh, it's been present in the WAMVT for three or four years now, so it's got a good history of data. And it's got a moder moderately susceptible rating for ascochyta blight, but I think the main advantages really are the harvestability and also improvements in grain quality. Very vigorous and they stand out. Captain here, uh, yeah, no, this is a winner any day. The trial has a couple more years to run, but results so far around improved breeding lines are encouraging growers to reconsider chickpeas with renewed confidence. What success will look like is ensuring that the Western Australian um, farmers have access to chickpea varieties that they can grow profitably and sustainably, given the, the, the importance of uh, pulse crops, not just in farming system, but as a cash crop in its own right. If you've tried chickpeas before, it's a really great time to come and have a look with the improvements we've made with CBA Captain. We'd love to get feedback regarding traits of importance and any other limitations you might have to adopting chickpeas in your farming system.